Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken. and we're playing Legendary Iron and Difficulty and we're in month number 7 of this run. It's going pretty good. We have liberated uh, the entirety of Africa. We're on our way to liberate parts of South America as well. Uh, so that's going really really well and we got quite a few nice uh, missions that we are still having to do in this month number seven so we are fortunate enough to have enough soldiers uh, really big roster by now i think close to probably 80 uh, soldiers and we can run a lot of missions on parallel i like it but i also like kind of the flow um, unfortunately that's probably not the most efficient way of running uh, legendary iron man from a timing perspective, you are supposed to skip most of the missions, but in true Psychon fashion, we're ignoring that completely and are just meatballing our way through it. Today, we're going to do a smash and grab mission, and it's really pretty simple. We're just uh, getting some resources. I hope that we can kill something so that we can get some drops. Um, today's mission uh, will be featuring a Shinobi. Sharpshooter, Specialist, Ranger and Grenadier, so pretty standard um, team overall. We even got a nice little bondmate team here, Scooter and Rattler. So that should be interesting. Without further ado, um, let's dive into the mission. Good, we landed in the middle of a city and you guys know what that means. A lot of losses. And losses mean drop rates in frames. Let's hope that the computer that I fixed it with um, with removing the add-ons. So we're definitely going to move through the interior here. We got a pretty decent team here. Probably a bit a bit short on uh, on proper gear. Most of them are still rocking laser weapons, as I can see. Got two magnetic weapons here for our damage dealers. Uh, might be good enough. I'd be interested to see against what we are going to fight. I mean, for the loss. It's most likely going to be enough. Okay, moving our sniper over here. I definitely want to take that side. Good, so that's where we're going to drop down. It's just a matter of getting everyone over there. What was that, sound? that means enemies must be pretty close beneath us. Um, it was a skewed sound, so they are very close. Probably like here, but just on the lower floor. I think we're overall well positioned here. Moving out. Let's start finding out if there is someone down here. Nothing. Okay, interesting. Good aftermath. It's going to take that spot. And for scooter, I mean, I've tried the high ground thing so often with uh, with a ranger. Turned out when the fight is going to start, they are usually out of range. Move, move, move. 
hostiles making the rounds. <sighs> Triple mag plus a heavy gunner. That's a beefy pack. Got another crate down there. Overwatching. Steadying our weapon. Oh, lucky us. We haven't been spotted out. All right, but that could change rather quickly. If the drone comes in our direction, uh, it's on. Wow. The mechs are certainly scary. Luckily, that drone simply goes away. Any EMP bomb would be perfect now. Asking myself. Is it go time? I mean, we would shred them really well if we were to drop a grenade now. But the question is, can the sniper join the fight? Well, the answer is probably yes, if we grab our way over here. Good, with that, I guess it's on. It's going to take away all of the armor. And the losses are slowly but surely going to approach us. Great. So what we're going to do is we're marking the supplies. We're picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is en route to make the pickup. Let's make sure we can get rid of them. So that's one down. Fortifying our position. Setting up the heavy mech. Marking even more supplies. Nice little reposition here. I, got it, right? I was hoping that we would be able to see the mechs. I was unfortunately wrong. Which means we got to take it in uh, our own hands. We can't rely on the sniper. Uh, that would require maximum damage. What's our chance of hacking them? 50-50 and I really don't want to take those chances.
Unfortunately, too little damage. Minimum of three points of damage. Yeah, I'm. Let's take the hundred percent shot instead of the ninety nine percent shot. I don't want to lose my concealment yet and despite the fact that that here would be a hit potentially a kill hmm we don't have blade storm so if we go in like that we're probably going to be hurt a lot so instead Heading over yet another action. And it was the right decision because there are more enemies just right, uh, right behind here. Thank you, by the way, for the great game mechanic that they can immediately start to shoot. And by the way, I love incoming. His rockets have just dealt one point of damage and that that's it. Yep, there we go, perfect. By the way, mind you, this guy here just triggered. The pack wasn't uh, triggered beforehand. And now the entire scenery is fucked up. We just had one turn. What? Even they can attack immediately? <laughs> What's even happening? Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace 1 5. Okay, first things first. We want an exit zone, and we want it here. Time to clean up. That's it. Instead, it has to be dead. Check it before you get too close. Cool part about killing them with an offhand is we're essentially not wasting any ammunition. You never need to reload. I like the idea of killing the trooper, uh, the mech, sorry. Losses are certainly not helping us this turn, so I want to make sure that we're getting rid of as many of them as possible. That's it. 
And let's get the mech. We need to move away. Because there's going to be another explosion. I'm going. Moving into half cover, which is not perfect, but we need to get rid of the loss, like I said. Reload. Okay, we got a very nice shot on him. Target neutralized. Time to get the dasher. It's dangerous to stand in the proximity of the priest. We might want to get a bit further back. We definitely want to do is heal ourselves. Could get it and still stay in cover for now. I would make that dependable, uh, de dependent on whether or not we can kill this guy here. Answers we can't, can't kill it, uh, can't kill him with one shot. Another grenade. Will produce even more loss. It's one explosion. Moving to position. And another overwatch. The crate is not a biggie. Advent just airlifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we wanna get the rest. Good. Soon more losses are going to come in. And that's the perfect timing for Holy Warrior. Yet another pack. And there is, by the way, another pack back here. So we've got to be careful not to over-engage. Whenever the alien, uh, whenever the losses appear in, in the round of the aliens, they get another turn afterwards, which is a bit of a problem because they then can reach us and start hitting us. Yeah, I didn't get it. Mm. 
Okay. Got a heavy gunner. Sergeant. Trooper. The one that I was hoping for, which is the priest, is unfortunately not in range. Not enough to kill him, but it would be a nice two for one if we could. Yeah, this time we need to use our uh, ranger here to take care of all of them luckily we got out of orders I think we're leaving those with him. Moving into even better cover. Let's try to crit him. Wow, that was the exact opposite of a crit. Good copy. Moving, on target. Moving into full cover. Did 13 hit points. It would be a very aggressive play. We know that we know all of the enemy picks by now. So there's no surprise, so to speak. Do we have No, we don't have an aid protocol. We already moved. I don't know, man. It feels uh, that we are having a decent position, which is hard to engage upon. Why would we give that up? Don't want to trigger another pack. I think. We are actually better off to not to not do anything here. Continuing to prepping this guy. 98% shot unfortunately missed. Which means we also can't finish him and since we need to reload and we don't have an autoloader, only thing that we can do is kill the lost. Which brings me to the actual reload. 
And then the steady of, uh, steadying of the weapon. Wait, did I have an autoloader? Ah, I don't know. Saving the plasma grenade for a bit later. Flashbang is not needed yet as well. So we're just overwatching. Alright, he only has full cover plus smoke. If he hits this one, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Ridiculous, that's minus 80, uh, minus 80, no, minus 20 from the smoke, minus 40, minus 60 overall. But still, point stands. Okay. Even the lost hits with a minus 40 penalty. We could kill the trooper. Gotta apply some healing and maybe even double heal. Yeah, most likely double heal. Moving here would trigger the other pack. We don't want that. We don't want that, Saiken. This is something that we could do. Very aggressive. But there is no one to punish us. So I think it's the right play. Okay, rapid deployment. This should hit all three of them. Very nice. That would be aggressive, pretty damn aggressive. And it would be out of smoke. No, I don't want to take major casualties here. This is mostly about winning firefights.
full cover full cover we got a free reload okay so let's just start using our superior position here Again, minimum damage. I don't like it at all. But that gives us a very solid chance of killing this guy. That's the setup that I wanted. And we're going to steady the weapon again. Let's reload. And this should spawn, uh, trigger a new um, set of loss next round, not this round. Yeah, we lost both crates. Which sort of was expected, to be honest. And there is a lost swarm. Which is actually working in our favor if you spawn it at the right time. Takes away the overwatch shots. And as long as they need to deal with the loss, everything's Gucci. I still want to try to get the loot because the loot is going to be valuable. That's maybe a hit. That's not a kill, most likely. Mm. This one might be something. Nice. Well, not exactly the loot that I was hoping for, but still okay. Go to here, but that'll be dangerous. We have no more free reloads, but we got to deal with those losses here. Can't just let them stand around. Specifically the Dasher. There we go, Desha needs to go. Alright, now we're normally reloading. Lost, lost. I mean, we could give ourselves another smoke grenade if we 
wanted to do that. No, I would leave the other loss um, with them. No need a flash ping right now. But we can soften those guys up. Fortunately, whenever I'm trying to do that, it doesn't work. She's missing just a tiny bit of movement. I hope it's worth it. We can flank next turn, so we still have some capacity left over for an over uh, for an Overwatch. Fortunately, just a grazing shot. That's probably all I need in order to finish him, really. I got it, right? Time to just steady the weapon again. Like, we don't need to hurry for the chest. I really don't want to trigger the mutant and the viper so full cover it is and overwatch Good. The loss will now trigger Overwatch. There you go. Yeah, and our Overwatch was successful. So that's good. Now, finally, time for some flanking. Come on, hit the sergeant. Great, that's good. I love it. We almost got all of them. Time for the sergeant to say goodbye. No, we're going to steady the weapon again. Good copy, moving on target. There is the last pack. Marking the supplies. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is And we can probably go upstairs without any danger. What'd you expect? 
taking care of the final advance here, uh, the final uh, loss. Why? High cover or oh, 15 defense? I don't even know why it, he gets another lone wolf bonus and a dodge one. So let me get that correct. Even if you would hit this guy in plain sight, he would have minus 32 to hit. And that is a shitty game design because it does not encourage you to do anything in particular. You just need to stack aim to, to deal with the bullshit. So minus 32 and then another minus um, 45 for high cover. Okay. I think we can't get the loot, and that is annoying. Moving upstairs. Don't want to deal with a mutant. You know. Might as well take the shot and see if we can somewhat hit him. The answer is no. Let's spawn some more loss. Yeah, I think we're just going to overwatch. There's no point fighting this guy. Not with minus 73 to hit. I'm all right. And he conveniently positioned himself behind indestructible full cover. Oh yeah, go for the mutant. No! Don't stop them. Oh, you should have stopped this guy. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Oh, we we could we could kill him, but we would be in the open, exposed to the mutant. Can't do that. Sorry. There's a certain chance that we're just that we're just killing him. There's also a very high chance that we're just not doing anything. Serves him right.
All right, that's the last of them. Ready to engage. Shit, I had an auto loader. Wouldn't wouldn't be necessary to reload. I only scratched them. Seems that all the cover is gone. To full cover. Let's rock. Reload and Overwatch. To Overwatch. Come get some. So we're not getting any more crates, might as well also get out of here. Panic will be resolved next turn. And there's another swarm of lost. It would be nice to kill the mutant if we could get an easy opening on it. Simply because it's probably going to have loot. Okay. Good. Maybe be be able to kill the sick dude. Moving into half cover, I'll give it one more turn. rid of the lost stashers. Time to open on the sector. It worked out well. Also got a great shot onto the um, mutant. Let's see if we can capitalize. Eighty percent isn't too bad. 
if we hit, he's probably going to... Okay, never mind. I'm not sure if we can get the mutant. Probably not this turn. Let's get the sectoid instead. Getting a nice little two for one. And steady our weapon. All right, I'll go. Okay, so I got one. Good. Overwatching. It's so close, we almost could reach the loot and then get out of there. We also need to find... I mean, we could run out, out of here, charging into three of them. Doesn't seem to be a good idea. Instead, let's move into full cover. It's probably not going to hurt him a lot. Oh, decent damage. Enough to uh, make him a one-shot for the sniper. Okay, I think we have our win of opportunity to get the loot and get out of here. That's a good old retaliation. Nice, five points of damage. Wow, they hit like a truck. Okay, I think the mutant is ripe. Let's get him down. Alright, next turn we're out of here. And this turn, what's the command range? Yep, Oscar Mike, oops, Oscar Mike would hit everyone. This turn I need really quick feet. Move. 
moving up. Good. The loot is the actual reward for us. Let's hope it's good. Larum Core is very good. Advanced Outloader also very good. Nice, advanced ex expanded magazine. The yeah, stock isn't yeah. super hot, more a niche item. But the rest is really good. By the numbers. Reloaded. Come on it. Ready to rock. They're bringing in reinforcements. Good. Time for us to motor. Got it. Moving. On my way. Overall, a surprisingly messy mission. I was hoping we kind of could set up a cleaner um, base and pull one pack at a time. But as so often okay. on these street maps. You're very much at the mercy of how the how the packs um, begin to move. Couple of wanderer, as well as some unlucky pot placements, and we constantly got ads during the time. But overall, I think the loot was pretty good. Two crates are a bit on the lower side, so it's 15-ish supplies. Chances out there. But I think we got four or five weapon modifications and an Alarium core. Plus not, plus not to forget we have a lot of kills to our name. Oh, holy, okay, so 8%. That's not going to work out. No need to waste more time with those levels of defense. Can't really compete. And there we go. Really not much that I can do against being hit. I mean, yeah, killing 60 plus enemies is good, but the uh, wounded characters, I'm a bit miffed about it. Uh, one was due to um, a pack that triggered and they immediately could fire into, uh, into our flank. They could move and then fire into our flank, which I still don't uh, like uh, that game design. And the other one was a shot into full cover and smoke, so that's minus 65. Um, shouldn't have hit. And there we go. Got a few promotions. I like it. Aftermath. Um, we took the center mass here, which is correct. Lone Wolf is also good. Low profile. Yep, that makes sense. We're not taking Dead Eye this time. Instead, Aggression and then Kubikiri. And since we have Aggression, Bring Him On is super helpful on top of it. Making the crits just ever so harder. Specifically when we're fighting many, um, many more enemies. Additional, uh, additional damage on crits can be the make or break 
to kill enemies. Scooter! I like it. Why did we take formidable? Oh, we did not have enough uh, points beforehand. Um, I mean, we're probably going for Implaceable again. Uh, Walkfire is good, Locked On is good, Center Mass definitely is good, Fortify is good. I definitely, I really like Implaceable. Critical hit damage, not bad, it's okay. I don't like the whole grazing fire concept, you should rather try to hit hard. The Implaceable piece gives us more flexibility, so I think we're going to go with that. Although I got to admit, the extra damage um, from crits isn't bad either. Taking formidable. Our shinobi is taking blade storm, so in the question. Oh, he got a flashbang and could get rapid deployment. Well, I think that's a no-brainer. Ah, the untouchable and aggression. Hmm. Still, it's really good uh, to have a free flashbang grenade. Action economy is king. 13 supplies, and this is what I meant. Uh, core... So the 13 supplies, that's all fine and good, but the real part is superior PCS, 4 weapon add-ons, and, an, uh, and a core. This is essentially how I'm making money, just getting all the stuff, regularly selling it. It's, it's way more income than you would get by just completing the mission. A crate here and there, doesn't matter, get the loot. Specifically, if you have Vulture, which everyone should have, uh, allowing two loot items to drop. Good, we wanted to continue making contact here. For the Western US Precinct. And we got another mission. Seven days, Intel package, find a lead. That is exactly the type of mission that we want. We need Intel because we want to spread and expand. Good, and we're having our team together. Uh, we got <clears throat> Bishop, our prime spark, that we're still trying to level. Got a couple of uh, rookies that you might have seen uh, by now. Uh, Blaze who is going to spec into support grenades. We got that standard um, specialist that's going to help us lights out, who has the alternative path for a really well hitting sniper, but not very hard. So probably going to be kind of multi-shot sniper. Um, we got Swordsman here who is going to lead it and Puppy just has proper damage with a, a real gun and everyone else with laser weapons. So. Yeah, laser weapons are starting to get outdated, so I need the money to build plasma so that essentially the magnetic weapons slowly but surely become the new standard for our low-level um, characters. Continue making contact. It's great to have so many soldiers that we can even do all of the missions. Four days, four hours, and we're definitely going to go f uh, for the supply rate. That's an option for corpses, and we want corpses, believe me. Okay, I can already see this is going to be a banger mission. We have uh, six uh, soldiers that we're going to take on this mission. Everything else would just not work with the four days, which is unfortunately a little bit on the shorter end. Four days, two hours to infiltrate the supply rate. Um, probably going to look into the low 40s um, or mid 30s, depending on whether or not I decide to um, use some intel. 
The baseline activity is just very heavy, that's a problem to begin with, but uh, more enemies also means more corpses if we can pull it off. I'm a bit yeah, concerned that we're running into yet another kind of ambush scenario where we're fighting against, I don't know, 20 plus enemies from the start. So consider me moderately concerned about that one. We have good weapons uh, though. And definitely an okay equipment. I don't have a real quote unquote top team. The A team and B team is currently doing something completely different. They are infiltrating the network tower here. And therefore are currently not available. I don't want to get Advent's attention. That's the problem here. I mean, yes, I want to get intel, but I don't want to get Edwin's attention. That's some resistance personnel, some rookies, even more resistance personnel, and another rookie. Wait a second, how many people do we have? We do have 12 and they are offering us three resistance personnel? That's crazy. Four days is pretty damn short though. Let me see if we can get a team together. I'm not sure. It's probably again a team of four then. And the baseline activity is relatively high. Yeah, it's probably not going to work out. Even with four is already difficult. Yeah, and if, if I would add a fifth one, we're way far off. And I don't want to pay 30 intel to get a couple of resistance operatives. Zero, uh, zero days, seven hours. Well, that's great, but it's seven hours. Setting course for the Western U.S. precinct. Aliens try to snuff out XCOM through brute strength, adding more enemies to every mission for a month. Um, okay. All right, Texman has finally done his retraining. There we go. So we still want a death from above. That was great. Center mass because we want to maximize uh, the amount of damage that we're taking uh, that we're doing per crit. We're probably going for Lone Wolf, just to increase uh, the aim. We're still going for Low Profile. This time we're going for Aggression. Because we need to increase the chance to crit for Kubikiri. And we're going for Alpha Mike Foxtrot. Good. On top of that, Combat Fitness is a no-brainer. Bring him on, uh, fits nicely into the whole critical strike theme. Yeah, and we're probably taking steady hands then on top of it. Good, that's aim. That is aim, this is crit, this is more damage with crit, this is more base damage, more base damage, instant kill if crit, defense, and action economy. Plus solid stat boost. I think that's good. And with such a high overall aim, I think he's also going to be okay. Um, one thing to consider, no, I already did that. 
No, we didn't do that. Depth perception is good, but do we have superior perception or only advanced perception? Well, once we get a superior perception, we might want to exchange that. Hell yeah! Another supply rate, and this time mwah, with proper um, timing. Setting course for sector eight, Mexico. Before we do that, wait a second. One of the things that I wanted to do since quite a while is getting the people, uh, getting the. Um, Haven operators out of the havens. We don't have a haven operator here, right? Yep, that's correct. We do have one over here. For now, they can recruit without her. Good. Nice. We get a lot of missions, guys. I'm happy about it. We gotta wait for a specialist 12 hours and then he is ready. We've managed to track the chosen hunter to this region. Good, we got an assault. Let's by the way start recruiting here right away. Perfect. And quick feet should no longer be tired, and then we can start with the supply rate. Yep, quick feet is good. Uh, we're waiting six more hours, potentially. No, let's put let's put Tracy here. Do we have leadership training ongoing? Yes, we do. Hmm. I think we can wait six more hours. It was nine days, right? Yeah, we can wait six more hours. Start liberating, uh, liberation of the region. Oh, hell yeah, we want to do that. Short double check. Is our team ready for the big battle? No, three more hours. Okay, well, we're going to fill the other team, uh, the other mission first. Damn it, with three regions. Scanning for missions, we're getting a lot of them. No, that was not it. I think... Get Edwin's attention. No, that's not it either. Yep, that's the liberation chain. Setting course for the Brazilian corridor. All right, took a little bit, but I equipped a couple of the rookies, or so two squaddies are in here, with a little bit more experience. Uh, still, many of uh, the quote-unquote experimental characters, um, for instance, our assault that is focusing on slug shots and trench gun. So, yeah, let's see how that is going to work out. I think 13 to 15 is not too bad. We got okay equipment. Um, slowly but surely, kind of the magnetic weapons drip down to the people that are 
um, that are kind of in the first lieutenant-ish uh, rank. But yeah, still a lot of laser weapons on top of it. And laser weapons, yeah, that late in the game aren't really super hot anymore. All right, flying, and I hope that quick feet is now finally done with being tired. There we go, quick feet is ready, so we can finally field the actual mission, which is the supply raid, guys. I'm losing a little bit the oversight about how many missions currently are actually queued. Uh, this year it looks pretty damn full. Let me get a team going. Good, and this supply rate looks much different than the other one. Like, you know, we can get it down to 25 enemies. And we got a merry band of seven really uh, well-trained tra uh, soldiers here. We got Taxman who's uh, going to leave this uh, maximum rank uh, with a nice little sniper. Uh, we got Mitch Mitchell um, using his newly found coil gun. We got this massive badass fusion blade uh, which Sane is wielding. We got Quick Feet, so those here already just had a mission uh, together. On top of it, Baya, our well hitting, um, our well hitting gunner. We got Glitch who. Um, has been a pretty reliable um, technician all along and Rascal I think was uh, the one that we got from the um, Overland scan where we got an extra soldier. Can't fully remember where we got him but anyways pretty solid kind of well-rounded team should be no problem whatsoever doing the mission. Might even can think about kind of going in under infiltrated. Good, we don't have enough intel to make contact. Uh, that would have been my next idea. We don't have enough supplies to build a radio relay. I think it was 600. Yeah. I would like to get the continent bonus. So, in the absence of not being able to do anything really, we don't need to heal. Let's just gather some intel. are still moving forward on the avatar project good got some bond training completed yeah the other soldiers that we had earlier which could um, finish their bond training seem to be on an infiltration i know that there is another upgradable bond that we had Zirkim's abilities are fine. I don't I don't see any reason to change them. Yeah, not really. It's good. Dark Tower's abilities, I'm just double checking if we need to adjust the build a little bit. Yeah, not again, not really. Good, let's continue with Intel.
incoming message for you, Commander. And that's the end of month number seven, guys. Look at that. Nine guerrilla operations, two additional regions contacted, uh, four additional uh, resistance missions. Uh, we re quite reduced the avatar process on top of it. Um, Covert ops doesn't matter. And two regions liberated, which again were two massive uh, missions on top of it. So nice. Unfortunately, we're losing some money due to spice in our organization. That is a fucked up ability for her. And we gotta work on getting her down. Alright, sentries gain combat awareness ability, granting them a bonus to defense and armor when on overwatch. That sucks. Tougher to hit in battle, that is the just steady increase in um, difficulty. By the way, still, in my opinion, a shitty game uh, development concept. It's just making, uh, making Advent more difficult to hit for no particular reason. Yeah. Armor and Vest projects are instantly completed. I think that's not bad. We might use that. I also like the will recovery by 20%. Oh, it's not bad either. This here saves some time. That's not bad either, but we currently don't really need it. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think we're fine. That uh, the important ones are between the eyes, weak point, and everything else is okay. The Templars will follow. Avenger plotting new course. Look at that! A thousand four hundred income this month. Perfect. Yeah, that's going to be a banger mission. Um, I'm already looking forward for that. Um, let's take a look at the events and then we're ending. Uh, this episode was long enough, one and a half hours, gosh. So we got a little bit of training, removing negative stats. Oh, by the way. Almost forgot the training here. So as I was saying, um, yeah, removing stats. I think the defense matrix will be a, a matrix will be a nice upgrade. This is probably the big, poor, uh, the big um, and important um, event during this month: the plasma rifle as well as being able to infiltrate the Warlock. Once the 10 days are over, the guys that are infiltrating, plus whoever from the Prime team is ready, should essentially head over there and kill the Warlock once and for all. We should immediately execute him. With the income that we're now getting, we should be more than capable of just upgrading our equipment to a ridiculously high level. Use the Power Spike um, and just kill him. I will continue infiltrating the Assassin next and do the same. If they drop the unique uh, weapons, then that would be pretty, pretty dope with the unique weapons. I think we're going to, we're going to be unstoppable almost. 
yeah other than that it works actually quite well i mean look at the overall amount of soldiers everyone is doing something we have dozens and dozens of infiltrations going the number of wounded soldiers are surprisingly low compared to the number of infiltrators and i think we're we have finally kind of the size of um, of our um, of our armory that is sufficient to also deal with continuously having to train um, uh, lieutenants, continuously having to uh, remove negative traits, continuously having to improve bonds. That's essentially things that uh, soldiers like almost these stations are almost the entire uh, almost for the entire time. Um, plus all of the ones that, that have been uh, wounded. So the number of actual available soldiers are a little bit more limited than that. And by the way, my estimate for, of 80 people was a bit too ambitious pro, uh, or a bit too high. We're at 62. Still growing the roster a bit. I think we can go up to 80. Um, seeing how many missions we have, pretty much um, it's the long war way. You just got to have a lot of people. And we also need to hedge up our bets for the situation if we're, if we're having a squad wipe. So far, the whole campaign has been relatively tame. Um, but you never know. It could happen. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, leave a comment and a like down below. And we're going to see each other in the next mission. Bye-bye.